Okay, welcome to this tutorial um, for assignment 8, your data analysis for the CSTAR project. When you open this assignment, you're going to see several things attached. In addition to the three here, you also see this tutorial video, which you've already found since you're watching it. Um, but what you want to make sure to open up is CSTAR Data Analysis 2021. That'll be your own copy. Uh, this is the document that you're going to work through. Um, the first step says to pick a central question. There are two broad categories for the central question. Um, you can see here A is comparing each location, or B, analyzing changes over time. To keep things relatively simple here in 2021, I'm going to have you pick one of these questions. If you want to deviate from one of these questions a little bit and you've got a really clear idea of how you want to deviate, no problem. You can definitely come up with a new question and check in with your instructor for some support on that. But in general, pick one of these here. I don't think one is necessarily easier or harder than the other, and so genuinely pick one that sounds most interesting to you. What would you most like to find out? If you decide on a question from up here in A, uh, you're going to work with um, the student data from 2021. You can find that back here in the assignment. Um, you've got a spreadsheet, student data 2021. Uh, you should have a copy of that. I've got my own copy right here. Okay, as you can see in the spreadsheet, there are six different locations that were surveyed by students. So each row represents one of those uh, locations. For instance, KVI was surveyed uh, on May 28th. And you can see that for Pizaster, there were a total of 14 Pizaster Sea Stars of various sizes uh, found, and that one of them was wasted. This gives a percent wasted of 17.14%. You can see that Evisterius was found too, two of those. One of them was wasted, so 50% of the Evisterius was found were wasted. Um, one thing to keep in mind that since only two Evisterius was found, um, that could lead to some false conclusions. So you're going to be asked to uh, cite some sources of error later. This is a good example of a source of error that when we only have um, two sea stars found, and one of them is wasted, 50%, that might be a little bit overrepresented. Then again, it could be underrepresented. And it's hard to tell when we only have a sample size of two. Um, no other species were found at this beach. Uh, you can also find out who it was uh, surveyed by. So uh, cheers to those students who went out there on the beach. Okay, so if you want to do something like compare the number of sea stars found at each location, uh, you're going to want to make a new data table here. And you can do that by creating a new sheet. This plus button down at the bottom is adding a sheet. It pops up as sheet 6. You can rename that. And I'm going to go ahead here and fill in all the locations that were surveyed. So location, I know KVI was one, I know Rob's Lagoon. Okay, I'm going to go look at the others on the data table. Okay, I have my locations here. You know, the north end was surveyed several times, and there are a couple of different ways to deal with that. You could uh, add the north end on here three different times. Um, for the fact that it was surveyed that many times. Um, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to average the results for the north end. So I'm going to put it on here once, but I'm going to calculate some averages. Um, all right, so we have the locations, and then you also need to include, uh, for my question that I'm answering, is uh, number of sea stars found. So um, I'll, I'll put total sea stars. Okay, now I need to figure out how many sea stars were found at each beach. And so if we start here with KVI, uh, well, 14 Pisasters were found, but also two Evisteria. So you have to decide how to deal with that. I'm going to do total sea stars of either species. Um, you might decide to do this by looking at just Pisaster. Um, you could average the species. I'm going to go with total here. Uh, and so that leads us to 16 total sea stars were found at KVI. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill in uh, the data for the other C stars um, and then make a chart. Once again, as you're thinking about the question you want to answer, you might not just do number of C stars. You might do a percentage of C stars that were wasted at each location. That'll give you a better idea of maybe how much the disease is spreading in that area. Okay, I've actually added some bogus data in here, so don't copy this data down onto your sheet. Um, I just made up some numbers after KVI, but it'll help me show you how to graph these. Um, if you select all your data, you can do that uh, really easily by clicking in the upper left hand. And then if you hold down shift, it'll click everything in between the two places you clicked. Another cool trick here is if you click something and then hold control down and click something else, it'll select all three things or however many you click. Okay, but I want to select all the data here and then insert a chart. 
Okay, Google guesses what kind of chart I want, and they did a pretty good job here. Although um, a pie chart uh, is pretty good if you want to make comparisons, so this might be good, but specifically it converts everything to percentages. And so this would be like percentage of total sea stars found at each beach. Um, and I'm actually interested in just comparing the numbers. So I'm going to change the chart here, and a bar chart will be really good. Okay, now what we have what I want. Location down at the bottom, KVI, Rob's Lagoon, North End, Tramp Harbor, and how many sea stars were found at each place. Uh, this title needs to be changed, and so I might change it like number of sea stars found on island beaches in 2021. Let's be a little more specific. Vash on island beaches. Okay, looking good. You want to might want to take a little bit of time to make your graph look pretty. Uh, there are all sorts of ways that you can customize it. And so spend some time in there, but maybe not too much. Um, I'm going to go with this for now. And you can click the, this drop-down menu uh, and find Copy Chart. So once you've got the co chart copied, you're going to be able to paste it into your C star data analysis assignment. That goes down here in the evidence section. What goes up here in that first box? That's the question you pick. So how do the number of C stars dot dot dot. I'm not going to fill that all out now. Um, in the evidence, that's where I want you to put your chart. So I just click control V to paste it. Um, it's kind of nice to link to the spreadsheet, so then you can always go right back there to see your chart. Um, because it's linked, when you click on it, um, it'll take you back to that spreadsheet. And anyone can head back to that spreadsheet, so that's kind of nice. Okay, that's the first part here if you're comparing sea stars at each location. Um, I'm now going to take a look and help you out with if you picked a question in analyzing changes over time. If you picked Analyzing Changes Over Time, you've got one more thing to look at in the Assignment 8, um, and that is you have some great summary charts. Regardless of which question you decide to take on, uh, I recommend taking a look at the C-Star Data Analysis 2014 to 2020, because this shows some patterns over time. Students have been heading out to Vashon Island beaches since 2014, and one thing that's really remarkable is the C-Star wasting disease really impacted the area after 2014 so we can see some trends like here's the average number of sea stars per beach across all Vashon Moray Island monitored sites so you can see uh, we had about 80 sea stars at each beach that was surveyed back in 2014 and that number has fallen and it's remained pretty low all the way through 2020. Okay so what you might be noticing as you look at these charts is that 2021 is missing and that's where you come in. So if you're comparing some things over time, you're going to add the 2021 data. All right, say so the question you picked is how did the percent of sea stars wasted over time change on Vashon Murray Island? Uh, and so we need to add 2021 to this chart. Um, you're not actually going to add it to this chart directly. You're going to make your own chart, but it's going to use the data here um, to build it out. So what do we need to do? We need to create a data table that has the years from 2014 to 2021 and percent wasted. I'm back on my Google Sheets where I made my graph before. I'm going to go ahead and delete this now. I don't want anything. Okay, so we need to go 2014. Oops, let's add a title. Mm, year. 2014, 20, ooh, 15, and percent wasted. This is all beaches. Okay, I've popped back into that summary chart, and you could read the data points off of this graph. It'd be a little tricky. Um, actually, the data is already up here in a data table. So this has year, and this has percent wasted all beaches. So you can copy the data over, and then you'll need to add 2021 as well. All right, well, you're going to need to have to figure out the percent wasted for 2021. There's a little bit of math to do. Here's, there's a couple ways to do it. You can use it from the percent wasted and calculate some averages. That might be a little bit more complicated than just adding up the total number of sea stars at all locations and adding up the number of wasted at all locations, dividing the number wasted by the total, multiplying by 100, that'll give you a percent. Once again, you actually need to decide 
Um, whether you're doing Pizaster or Evisterius, actually, I think you're going to need to do all of them together. Yeah, so this is all C stars. It's not just Pizaster. So um, make sure you add up Pizaster and Evisterius as well. And any of the other species. Some of the beachy, beaches, there are some other species found. Once you have that percent calculated, you can go ahead and uh, insert a chart. And look at that. Very nice. 20, 21 still missing, of course. So you're going to need to make sure you have that data point. Um, you're going to want to change the title here. Maybe make some other visual changes. Okay, you're on your way. So make sure that if you have any questions while you're doing this, you check in with your instructor. Good luck.